Hello, everybody. Welcome back to online classroom. Take good deal. In this video, we are going to start chapter seven: electricity and magnetism. In this video, we are going to focus on just one very short topic. That is energy. First of all, what is energy? Energy is defined as the ability to do work. The SI unit for energy is joule. Okay, if you decide to write the whole word joule, J O U L E, you wanna spell it out. Remember, you have to put a small letter J. However, if you only want to write J to represent joule, then the one letter that you write J must be capital letter. That is very important. Okay. Well, why do we need energy? What are some of the uses of energy? First, we use energy to run, don't we? And remember, plants need energy from the sun to continue living because of photosynthesis. And our cars need energy to move, especially from petrol, fuel, and the light from the bulb is produced by energy as well. Well, one fun fact about energy is that it cannot be created. And it cannot be destroyed. That means energy cannot just appear out of nowhere, and also it cannot just disappear like that. However, there are many different forms of energy, so they can change from one form to another. Let's take a look at a list of many different forms of energy, shall we? The first one will be sound energy. I love this because Jaegudio loves music. So an example of a sound energy will be those sound energy produced by musical instrument. Anything that make a sound or a noise produce sound energy. Kinetic energy is when anything move. Anything that move has kinetic energy. For example, a moving bicycle, a fruit falling from the tree. Let's say a durian is falling off the tree. The durian, as it fall down, it is moving, and hence it has kinetic energy. Anything that moves, remember, okay? Anything that moves has kinetic energy. Electrical energy. This is our main character in this chapter. Okay, so anything that need electricity will need electrical energy to function. For example, your cell phone, computer, tablet, TV,、uh, rice cooker, microwave oven, and so on. All the electrical、uh, appliances at your home need electrical energy. Gravitational potential energy is possessed by anything,、uh, an object, because of their location. When there's a height, there is gravitational potential energy. For example, a durian hanging on a tree, or a book that is sitting on your desk. Elastic potential energy, however, is possessed by anything because of their physical condition, whether they are being stretched or compressed. For example, a spring, a bow and arrow like this picture here, or maybe、uh, a rubber band and a balloon that is stretched. All those are put elastic potential energy. Nuclear energy, however, is stored in the nucleus of an atom. Okay, and they are powerful. Light energy, just like the name, when you can see light, there is light energy. Heat energy, when you feel the heat, when something is hot, they have heat energy. And last but not least. Chemical energy. Chemical energy has many different types. They are possessed by、uh, any chemical substances. For example, a candle that is light up, they can light up because there is chemical energy stored in the candle. Or petrol, or even food. This is one very special example that I need you to rem remember. All the food that we eat has chemical energy. Remember that, okay? Where does all this energy comes from? Okay, there are several sources of energy, meaning there are different.
place or source that we can get this energy from. Number one, of course, is the sun. Geothermal, this is the source of energy that comes from inside the earth. For example, the hot spring. Okay, it is hot because of, because of geothermal energy. And water, biomass. Biomass normally is produced or is collected uh, from the waste of uh, crops maybe. And then they will collect them and produce biomass energy. Fossil fuel, for example, petroleum or natural gases. Radioactive substance, these are the ones that has to do with the nuclear energy, waves, and also wind. Well, that's all from Tekutio in this short and sweet video. I shall see you in the coming video, okay? Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.